Okay, so the polygons we're going to talk about today is, is very similar to triangles, but we're just going to sort of build a little bit on it. So I think you'll find if you can follow the triangles, okay, this will be you know about the same level as we just did. But first, I want to go over some terminology with you. The first thing is we're going to be talking about a convex polygon. Anybody in science right now or remember convex from science? But uh, when we're talking about a concave poly or sorry convex polygon, um, one easy way to tell if it's concave or convex, a convex polygon, you can only go through it once when you draw a straight line. So for example, here, when I go through it, I go into the polygon and come straight out. Whereas here, it's possible to go in, out, and then back in and back out. So I've gone through the polygon twice with one line, then it's not convex. You can see it by the picture that it's caved in, but you can, a straight line will only go through it one time. Uh, the other thing is the angles are less than 180 degrees on the inside, because for example, this one here is gonna be much larger than 180, because it's bigger than a straight line. So when we talk about things today, we're always gonna be talking about convex polygons. When you hear me say polygon, or you use the word polygon, um, that's what we're talking about, is one which is convex. Wait, that's not the first yeah, so this is, thank you, good point. Convex is this one. All right, so here's the first thing that we're gonna to try to figure out about polygons, or at least these concave polygons. Um, and that's to figure out what's the, we know a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. Let's see if we can figure out what a polygon adds up to. So for uh, this square, does anybody know how many degrees are in a square? Yeah, it's 360. Does anybody know how many are in a pentagon? Ah, trickier, huh? Well, let me give you a little clue as to how you could figure this out. So, can you explain to me using the word triangle and 360, why it's 360? Go ahead. Yeah, so two triangles adds up to 360 instead. So how many triangles can you draw in a, in a pentagon? Yeah, okay, so some of you have already clued in then, 540, because there's three triangles. So let me show you the three triangles. Okay, there's one, two, and three. Whoops. Sorry, just a second here. So if we had um, six sides, you'd get four triangles. And how many degrees do you think there would be inside of those four triangles? 720. Good. So if you're into snowboarding, uh, skateboarding, or etc., you may find, yeah, I guess skiing does it now too. It's, I'm, I'm from a generation when skiers didn't do 360s, so I always forget. But yeah, they probably do more uh, twists nowadays than snowboarders. But uh, your next one is the 900. Yeah, that's crazy. And again, here we would have one triangle, two, three, four, five. Wow. So one thing I want you to notice is that when I have four sides, I get two triangles. When I have five sides, I get three triangles. Six sides, I get four. Five, I get seven. Can someone make a prediction for me? If I had ten, a ten-sided polygon? Eight. I'd have eight items. So what do you think the angle sum would be there? So that would be about 
1440. 1440, good. So here's the formula that we're going to work with, guys. It looks like this. If I have n sides, the sum is n minus 2 times 180. This is the number of triangles. And this is the degrees in a triangle. So for example, what we just said, when I said, could you predict for me if I had a 10-sided polygon, there'd be eight triangles. So I think the way Paul got his answer was he went eight times 180. And that would give you eight triangles at 180 degrees each, 1,440 degrees. So this is the formula that uh, tells you the angles inside a polygon. But the best way to remember it is it's how many triangles you can put inside a polygon. Because we already know triangle, we only got to know one thing then, 180 degrees. It's too hard to memorize each of them, right? At least this way we only need to remember one for the triangle. Okay, so... Oh, sorry, I'll stop. Okay, so it looks like we're ready. Let's... Uh, Let's take a look again. If I've got a four sides, how many angles will I have? So like a square, how many angles are inside a square? Four. Yes. How many angles are inside a pentagon? Good, I'm glad you got bored by that. So uh, it, it, it isn't a trick question. I'm just uh, trying to find the pattern with you here. If you knew there were four angles inside, and each one of them was the same, okay? Normally you have 360 degrees. Normally here you have 540, we'll say 720, 900. How big is each angle if you have 360 degrees and four of them? Four of them, 90 degrees, okay? What if you have a pentagon though? A pentagon has 540 degrees. How many do you get now? A pentagon has 540 degrees and you're gonna have five equally spaced, uh, uh, sorry, angles. They each get 108 degrees, that's right. Um, how about seven, uh, sorry, a uh, hexagon? How many degrees for each angle in the hexagon? Okay, how many degrees in the uh, heptagon? Oh, looks like we have some discrepancy here. Yeah, 128 point, there's gonna be a bit of a fraction. Let's call it 128.6. So some of you figured out how to do this, okay? What are you doing to find the answer? You're right, but don't use the word times. Multiply. Don't use the word multiply. Divide it by, right? You're dividing, divide 900 by 7. Divide 720 by 6. Divide 540 by 5. So we take the um, angle sum. and we divide it by the number of angles. So let me just refresh your memory what this looks like. The angle sum formula that we just talked about is this. And the number of angles is n. So if you wanted to find it with a formula, this is the sum here for all the angles inside, this is the number of angles you have. So that's the angle sum formula for a regular polygon. Now, let me show you, uh, just so we know what we're talking about here. Um, is this a regular polygon? Yes. Well, I'll tell you, only one of these things right here is a regular polygon. The left one's not. Is there a way we could describe how do you know something's a regular polygon or not? Uh, 
Sorry, I'm just gonna, I don't want to ignore people at the back because yeah, go for it at the back. Great, all the sides are equal length. So that's the, that's the criteria we use. So sides have the same length. Okay, this is a kind of a tricky one. So what I want to show you guys is uh, we've been talking about interior angles, but there's, there's also kind of an interesting one about exterior angles. So the difference this time is we're going to be looking at an angle which is outside the shape. So for example, that is an exterior angle. Okay. Now, this interesting property, it happens when we uh, go in the same direction. So this wouldn't work for us because those two angles that are facing each other, we don't want them to be facing each other. We want them all facing the same direction. So let me show you what I mean by facing the same and clockwise. This won't show up on YouTube. Um, the best I can do for you is clockwise going this way meaning all my angles are going to be facing clockwise. So they're going to be going like this. This angle faces that direction. This angle faces that direction. Faces that way. Faces that way. And faces that way. So they all have the same orientation now. Okay, so see if you can figure out what will it look like if you go counterclockwise on that uh, polygon. Yeah, we'll draw it. See if you can uh, draw this, the exterior angles that go counterclockwise. Okay, so it should look like this if you went counterclockwise. Whoops, that means all your angles are facing this way. So I'll just remind you here, when we did the pentagon, they were 108, and when we did the hexagon, they were 120. So, I'm gonna take, uh, which way do you wanna go on this? Count Counterclockwise or clockwise? Clockwise. Okay, so clockwise, if I go like this, Um, how much is this angle? 62. Uh, a little more. 72. 72. Okay, and this one is? 72. Sorry. So, watch what happens if we add those all up. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 72. We get 360 degrees. But watch this, it gets even stranger. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Which way do you want to go? Counterclockwise. Counter, okay. So if we go counterclockwise this time. Each of these is 120. So what's the outside angle? Yeah, so the outside angle, the exterior is 60 degrees. How many 60s do I have? So what does it add up to? Uh, it's 420. It's 7 actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there 1, 2? There's 7 in there. Yeah, it looks like I, I must have got a little excited then. If there's 7, we said it was uh, 128. You know what? So it's going to be, uh, it would have been nicer to have the six there, but anyways. I know. So what do we, uh, what do we add up to on the other side here? That's going to be uh, 51.4. Whoa, how do you do that in your book? 
So you have to keep in mind that I rounded this, but there's seven angles there. Oh, so I'm, I'm rounded too close. 359.8. But if I didn't round, it would have added up to 360. Wow. So I'll have to make a change here. Next time I do that lesson, I'll do it with the six uh, so I don't have to round anything. Um, but the exterior angle, it doesn't matter what the polygon is, it will always add up to 360 degrees. So no matter what the polygon looks like, the exterior angles, if you go clockwise, counterclockwise, always add up to 360. So here's one that we'll try together. Um, so let's just pick one of these. The loony, okay. So for the loony, what's the uh, interior angle of a loony going to be? So there's 1,620 degrees, and I have 11 angles. So what's the uh, inside measure for a loony? 147.27. Sounds good to me. So that there is 147.27. Yeah, and so one of the exterior angles we could come up with, 32.73. And yeah, if we added them all up, it would be... 32.73 times 11. Does it round up or where do we end up? Let's find out. That's pretty close. 360.03. Okay.